Hi, my name is Thomas Maurer. I'm a cloud advocate at Microsoft and I'm going to show you how you can configure your on-prem Windows server to connect to an Azure virtual network and the servers running in that network directly from in Windows Admin Center using the Azure Network Adapter. Okay, I'm connected here to one of my on-prem virtual machines called App02. This virtual machine is running an application which needs to connect to other virtual machines running in Microsoft Azure. In my case, I don't have a side-to-side -side VPN connectivity to that specific virtual network. Uh, so I already deployed the application in Azure. So if I go to the Azure portal, you can see I have here this virtual machine. And you can also see that this virtual machine only has a private IP address. So I'm going to copy that private IP address. I'm going back to my server. I'm going to try reach that virtual machine. Now, obviously, you can see that I'm not able to connect since there is no VPN connection or anything in place to reach that virtual machine. But if I go to my Windows Admin Center, where I can manage that server called App02, I can go to the Network tab. And here I basically can see all my network adapters. You can see that this is a virtual machine running on Hyper-V. Uh, I could change the IP address of that server or manage um, the network settings, but I can also create a new Azure network adapter. So I'm going to do that. So first, obviously, it lets me select the subscription. Um, it also lets me select the location my server I, I want to connect to. And then it shows me all the network, virtual networks I can connect to. Now, my application server in Azure runs in this specific virtual network. So I select that one. And you can see, since I already specified the gateway subnet in Azure, uh, this is grayed out. Uh, but it lets me choose, for example, the gateway SKU. Since I do not have already deployed a gateway, a virtual network gateway in Azure, this will automatically deploy one. If I would already have deployed a virtual network gateway, um, this would be grayed out as well. It will also generate um, self-signed self certificates, or I could use my own certificates if I want to. So I click on Create. And this now will run for a while because it's going to create the uh, virtual network gateway within Azure and will then also install a point to side VPN agent on my application server on prem and configure the point to side VPN. After that is done, I will come back to you and tell you more uh, how that works. Okay, it now created the virtual network gateway within the Azure network. Um, and it also created the Azure Virtual Network Adapter on the App02 server called um, or used for the point to site VPN connectivity. Now, if I select that Virtual Network Adapter, I click on Connect. I confirm that I want to connect to that network. Uh, it will say, OK, VPN connectivity is successful. If I now go back to that system and say I want to ping my VM in Azure again, you can see that I'm now connected to the VM and the application can now reach um, the application running inside Azure. If I go back and obviously I can also disconnect the network and you can see now after it's disconnected, um, the VM is not reachable uh, to that network. So this is the Azure network adapter, which basically creates a virtual network connectivity using point to site VPN.